this one, Cyber Chef. You know, I, so I got Cyber Chef. Well, let me actually bring my other browser up that's uh, prettier for this kind of work. There we are. Um, there we go. So, uh, you ought to learn CyberChef. Uh, now, I solve most problems like in CTS by writing Python code because I know Python. But if you don't know Python, CyberChef is a graphical environment where you can do a whole lot of nice mathematical operations. So, you just go here. It's online on the web. You can install it locally. It's open source, but anyone knows not to use the one on the web. So, you can put in an input like hello. And then the output is just hello. But you can transform it with things here. So, for example, I could uh, base64 encode it. Uh, 2 base64 is one of these. Uh, there, if I do that, it'll now take this and turn it into base64. Let me make the font bigger. There. You see it base64. And so you can put operators here that do things, and then you can just drag them and throw them away when you're done with them. So, if there's nothing changing it, the input is equal to the output. So, here, um, put in... Uh, Hello Code Breakers, which is what I did here. Just got it from some tutorial. All right. So you put that in there, and right now it's not transformed. And then we can do a ROT13 and an XOR to it. So a ROT, you can search for ROT. A Rotate13 just exchanges every letter with one 13 ahead. So see, there they go. And it only applies to the letters. It doesn't change the exclamation point or the comma or the space. And then we can put an XOR in there. X or all right, and that'll encrypt it with a key. I can give it a key of say three, and now see it scrambles everything, including the exclamation point and the space now, because it's flipping the last two bits. Three is one one in hex, so X or means it will reverse the last two bits, so it'll move every letter a few spaces in the alphabet. <clears throat> all right, so that's uh, what it looks like. And if you want to disable any of these, you could drag them and throw them away, or you can just hit this little stop button here. Then it will stop doing the XOR and turn pink. And here it'll stop doing the ROT13, and now we get back to our original. So that just shows you how this thing works, and you can solve a lot of uh, simple things there. So uh, there's one flag you can find just by doing uh, the steps above, and then you can start breaking things. So here, for example, we're going to break this Caesar cipher. So if I put that up here, all right, and now I want to use the ROT13 brute force. I'm going to throw these away. Okay, and I can find ROT13. ROT13 brute force. Now what this is going to do, this is uh, kind of a misnomer. ROT13 is the Caesar cipher when you move it 13. Whoever named this use kind of the wrong name. This is a Caesar Cipher brute force. It tries all possible shifts. You see, shift it by 1, so U goes to V, and R goes to S, shift it by 2, 3, 4. So this is one way to do it. And you can see down here is uh, the, the answer. <coughs> so that's one way to break it. If you have a short list, you can just read through it and find out which line is readable. If you know some of the text, you can put in a crib like hello. If you know it contains the word hello, then it'll only show you lines that contain that. This is extremely useful. This will try, you can have these brute force ones that try every possible key, and if you know any part or you can guess anything in the message, then you can pretty quickly find it. That's very handy. And I think that's all I have to show you to do these. Um, here's one you can solve with rot brute force. Here's one you have to decrypt with XOR. Here's one you have to de XOR with a two byte key. And here's XOR and Base64 together, which can be a little confusing. And you can get, you know, flags you can find there. So that's all there is to this one. It gives you some practice with this tool, and a lot of people love this tool. CyberChef. I know Tessa's a champ at this thing. People do really complicated things by combining three and four and five of these operations here. Um, like I say, I would just use Python before I did this, but this is an alternative. A lot of people love it. So that's what I wanted to show you there.